Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. Today is Monday, the 23rd day of May. It is National Lucky Penny Day. Do you believe in lucky pennies? I if do you see, not. If you see a penny, do you pick it up and hoping to have a day of good luck? I do pick it up, but... Is, is that just because you are a penny pincher? You're like, no, oh, that's but a penny. Be, um, because I read something one time that um, I really liked. Some A wealthy man stopped and picked up a penny, and the man said that he was walking with said, why do you pick up pennies when you're so wealthy? And he said, because it says in God we trust on it. And oh, yeah. Yeah, so oh, I do. Cool. I always pick them up. Well, and the reason I do it is because that might be the only exercise I get that day. And it's, <laughs> Bending down. And it's also National Taffy Day today. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And it's a movie star Monday. My guest today, Rory Culkin. Mm, I'm excited to visit. That's pretty uh, cool. That was a good guess. Yeah, you know, I do what I can. A ton of really cool movies that he's been in, and he's got another really cool project that's based on a true story. We're going to chat all about that coming your way in just a bit. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you love the taste of sour candies, Heidi? Sometimes, yes. Well, then you might be an extrovert, according to a survey of 2,000 candy lovers conducted for a company by the name of, hmm, Jelly Belly Candy Company. Uh, the survey conducted by one poll digs deeply into the theory that a person's preference for certain sweets could say a lot about their personality. Besides being extroverted, 59% of people who love sour candy also identify themselves as being more eccentric. 53% say they're funny. 50% say they are sarcastic. 51- I'm hilarious. And I'm very, very sarcastic. 51%. Uh, <laughs> I guess 51% say they're sarcastic. Chocolate t- lovers tend to describe themselves as optimistic. I love chocolate. I'm very optimistic. <laughs> 76% say they're shy. I am so shy. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not really shy. 67% uh, said shy, by the way. Fans of Mint were most likely to say that they are thoughtful. 78%. Other results, 79% of cherry candy lovers identify, identify as introverts. I like cherry, but I'm not an introvert. I like all these flavors. Yeah, <laughs> what does that mean about like me? All candy. Anyway, I've got all of this because we're out of time. If you want to read it, it's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? If you've ever had like uh, a burrito or a taco fall all over you where you're trying to eat it, this could be if you're a man invented the burrito bumper. It's a food funnel that catches saw this. your fallen fillings <laughs> and creates yeah, another taco. It does. I saw this. It's hilarious. In a video posted on Reddit, Maddie Benedito breaks down this apparently genius invention, according to many people online. (laughs) First, effortlessly insert a tortilla into the bottom basket. Then, begin binging on your overstuffed burrito. As it ultimately falls apart, the overflow of ingredients will conveniently (laughs) flow into the funnel and be swiftly inserted into your newly created taco below. Upon the last bite of your burrito, simply reach down and go to town on your (sighs) freshly created recycled taco creation. There's something genius about that and something silly about that. I wouldn't say that. it's genius. No, there's some. Here's one of the things I've started doing. We have tacos. I do lay like a soft shell taco on the plate and then I eat my tacos over them. And then when you're done, everything that fell out lands on that plate. Right. This is for people who apparently didn't think of doing it that way. Exactly. All right. They buy we, a we contraption d- We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Chris Rock wasn't kidding when he said he's not going to talk about that slap till he gets paid. 
during a show at the Royal Albert Hall in London. He immediately addressed the white elephant in the room, said, okay, if anybody was wondering, I got most of my hearing back. And then he kind of just moved on from that. But apparently uh, he's going to he's gonna talk about it someday when he gets paid to talk about it, which, I don't blame again, him. you know, I get it. Hey, producer Jerry Bruckheimer says it is, quote, unlikely at this point that Johnny Depp will return for a sixth Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean movie as Jack Captain Jack Sparrow. So they were asking him about it. He's like, yeah, it's uh, pretty unlikely. And David Tennant and Catherine Tate are returning to Doctor Who, reuniting uh, for, or returning rather, for new scenes that will coincide with the show's 60th anniversary celebration next year. Oh. So I've got more details on all three of those stories in the show notes for today at John and HeidiShow.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. I'm not sure uh, if anyone else is like this, but uh, I'm sure some of these people probably have had this happen where you go, my kids are making me lose my mind. Well, science is backing us up. Rearing three or more children, oh, I'm only on two. Uh, it says, <laughs> may spur the onset of cognitive decline or dementia later in life. Oh. Yeah, according to Columbia University's Aging Center. Scientists found that having three or more kids versus two children has a negative effect late life cognition, equivalent of being 6.2 years older. The study found additional children incur. See, this is probably for me because I grew up in a family with more kids. That's I'm blaming it on my siblings. It's their fault. A uh, study found additional children incur considerably more financial costs for the parents and reduce the family's income and standard of living, which turns to worries and uncertainties, which then negatively impacts you for your cognitive functioning. I could see that. For this, sure. by the way, is among both men and women. Positive side to having more kids, it reduces the risk of social isolation for parents. So, you know, there's better chances at least one of your kids is going to like you, I think is what they're trying to say. <laughs> a situation that can protect against cognitive decline later in life. And a marriage therapist has revealed the top complaint she hears about men from their wives. What do you think it is, Heidi? Oh, gosh. She talks too much. Well, that would be me, <laughs> but maybe not everybody. Uh, many women, they say their problem is housework. It says, oh. uh, one of the top things I hear from women as a complaint is that their husbands are waiting for them to tell them what needs to be done instead of just doing what they know needs to be done. Yeah, that can be very irritating. Active responsibility would be a good thing for you to look around the house, see what you could do, and then do it. You don't need to wait for me to tell you, hey, can you clean up that mess you made? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you please put your clothes in the hamper? I just, just point out something, you know, not, not that it's me, but, you know, others. <laughs> I've got the rest of that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on this Movie Star Monday. Our guest today, Rory Culkin, has been in a bunch of amazing projects like Scream 4, Lords of Chaos, Waco, and many, many, many more. And he's got a new one out right now. It's called Under the Banner of Heaven. It premiered at the very tail end of last month, and it's part of the FX lineup of original programming developed exclusively for Hulu. And we're going to chat with him all about that. Mr. Culkin, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. You've been in a ton of fun stuff, and you got a new project, Under the Banner of Heaven. Just came out at the tail end of last month. Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, yeah, Under the Banner of Heaven is a true crime story about the murder of Brenda and Erica Lafferty in the 80s in a Mormon community. And it's based on a true story, and it's not necessarily a fun story by any means, but it's a story that needs to be told, right? Yeah, yeah it's based on the book by uh, John Krakauer and... Um, 
yeah, it's sort of a darker project. Now, you've had an opportunity to play a bunch of different characters, and, and every single time it's it's something different and something fun. You do a good job picking roles, or do those roles pick you? Um, maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. I, I sort of throw the net out and uh, hope I pull something in that I respond to. As you look back at your career, is there a, a role that you look at that you go, this is my favorite thing? I wish every day could be like that one. Um. I did a film called Lords of Chaos about Norwegian black metal where we were burning down churches. That was pretty fulfilling. <laughs> that's that's a little different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to realize I'm, I'm, a lot of my work is uh, there are themes popping up, uh, religion and, and true stories and things. And uh, you, you had an opportunity to be in Scream 4. That's quite the franchise there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I believe that was Wes Craven's last film and your family you've got several actors in your family and uh now there's some other people in your family that are not actors it, it, was it ever like why are they not an actor or just kind of everybody chooses what they want to do no i mean we all kind of had a pass at it when we were younger and, and some of us stuck to it and others just you know didn't respond to it and would rather be you know a writer or a chef or something so uh yeah not all of us stuck to it but uh i did i just sort of took to it at a young age and phenomenal, very talented family, super talented family. And again, this new project, Under the Banner of Heaven, this is something that folks can see. Again, it just started last month, uh, but they can check this out. Is it on Thursdays? Is that right? Yeah, Thursdays on uh, on Hulu. And this is kind of an interesting thing because like, you can binge watch some stuff, but like this, it comes out on Thursdays so you can catch the new episodes. But if you haven't been watching, you can binge watch all the episodes that are out right now. See, it's going to be hard to believe, but when I was a kid, you had to wait like a whole week for every episode on everything all the time. <laughs> Ridiculous. I know. Nowadays, it's, it's the technology just make it so much easier. So do you have some other fun projects in the works right now, Rory? Uh, yeah, I just finished um, a project with Donald Glover. He's uh, developing a show. And uh, yeah, yeah, I've just been working on, on little things since, but it's been mostly the uh, this sort of press tour for this one. Very cool. And do you have kind of like a a wish list of, boy, I really would like to do this? Is there like a role that you just always thought would be the best role for you? Um, I would like to, I'd like to either go to space or go to like the Middle Ages. One of ah. those. I'll, I'll feel good about myself. What if you went to the Middle Ages, but you were also in space? I don't know. Just spitballing here. <laughs> I don't hate it. Don't hate it. So, uh, again, I appreciate you taking the time. I think this Under the Banner of Heaven looks like a fascinating project. And, again, you've done a really good job picking other really fun projects as well. Uh, if folks would like to see this, they can catch it on Hulu on Thursdays. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Every, every Thursday on Hulu. Very, very nice. And, uh, again, it, are there other projects that you're a part of that you're going, boy, I really wish more people would have had a chance to see this one because it was a great project, but it just didn't get – the attention it needed again. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned the, the metal one, but there was a, a series called Waco that I did, which did get some attention, but uh, a couple of years later, I guess when it was uh, circulating on Netflix, that's when people started watching it. But at the time, it kind of came and went and seemed to go unnoticed. But And that's one of yeah. the cool things about the streaming is there are shows that didn't get the attention they really deserved back when they came out, but now, like you'd mentioned, the miniseries Waco is kind of getting more attention now because people can click when they've got a second and watch it, which is really, really cool. Yeah, it's a pretty, you know, people who have the streaming services, it's a pretty accessible library, which is nice. Well, Rory, I appreciate you taking the time to chat today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Again, Rory Culkin has been our guest. The program is called Under the Banner of Heaven. It's available on Thursdays on Hulu. We're going to throw a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Ketchup was sold as medicine in the 1830s. It was? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Typhoid Mary was a real person, spent the last 23 years of her life in quarantine. Oh, mm, That's not so fun. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In St. John, New Brunswick, there is a waterfall that regularly reverses its direction of flow. What? Oh. 
That's kind of cool. I wouldn't mind that. seeing that. We'll have to, yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Was that John? A tourist who claimed a San Francisco cable car accidentally turned her into an infomaniac won a fifty thousand dollar settlement in nineteen sixty four. What? Yeah, that's that's a while ago. And uh, another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In the script, Arnold Schwarzenegger's classic Terminator line was "I'll come back," and he said, "I'll be back." Oh, and he messed it up. Yeah, but he got it right, really. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock, was afraid of eggs. Yeah. Really? I don't know how you can be afraid what of What a bizarre eggs. thing to be afraid of. There you go. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! You're supposed to cheer with me, Heidi. Yay! Brought to you by Mintervention.com. Hey, here's a question. In a poll asking what smells remind people of their childhood, freshly cut grass came in at number one. Yep, I agree Certain with that. Certain meals, cooking was number two. What do you think was number three? Number one was grass. Number two was maybe fresh baked bread or something like that. Fre- fresh cooked meals of Gasoline. some sort. Gasoline. No, number three was crayons. Oh. Yeah. So the number one thing that reminds them of their childhood, fresh cut grass. Number two, some sort of meal. Number three, crayons. See, for me, it's gasoline because I remember um, like being in our garage or my grandpa's, grandpa's garage, garage yeah. with him. And you could smell That's the smell. lawnmower gas. Mm, and Yeah. yeah. I get that. Mint Mobile question of the day brought to you by Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all includes Exclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A 19 year old Florida woman, 19, who fled from police in Florida and the Florida Keys, told a deputy who caught up to her that getting arrested was on her bucket list. Oh, great. She's 19. Cops spotted the woman's vehicle. They say woman's vehicle, but that's more of a girl. She's 19. Uh, She was driving recklessly just before 8 a.m. He turned on his lights and siren, but the car did not immediately stop. She just kept on going. Then she was taken to jail when he he caught up with her. The woman then said, uh, hey, you know what? It's been on my bucket list since high school. She was charged with fleeing and eluding police. Is that on your bucket list, Heidi, to be arrested? Been there, done that, babe. (laughs) I've never been arrested. (laughs) And it's not on my bucket list. Can we ask what you were arrested for? Uh, possession of alcohol. That's Minor when you were a kid. Po- what, you were seven, eight? <laughs> no, just I kidding. was 18. Oh, 18. Okay. <laughs> so I was just teasing. I knew that. Uh, I've never been arrested, and it is not on my bucket list. <laughs> this, this lady is bizarre. That's why it's today's Weird News. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. I have a brand new bouncing baby nephew boy and uh, I think it's kids are amazing, awesome. I love kids. And here's the thing that's interesting: names that have been like gone for a while, but they're coming back. The list today are experts identifying a bizarre 100 year trend with a bunch of names that are coming back. So girl names: Joan, Mary, Margaret, Dorothy, Gladys, Irene, Iris, Elsie, Ada, and Mabel. Wow! They're all on the way back. Those names. How about the boys? You might ask. In order. Ronald, Arthur, Robert, Albert, Freddie, Edward, Archie, Ernest, Isaac, and Harris. Huh. Yeah. So if you've got a kiddo on the way and you're going, what could I name these kids? Oh, that's kind of fun, maybe, actually. Maybe Orville or something like that. Because, you know? <laughs> again, the, the names that were popular 100 years ago are the ones that are going to be popular again, according to this. That is the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. 
Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Hey, I got another quote from the office. We just had another one from the we office. We did. Uh, here's the quote today. It's from Dwight Schrute I from love the office. Dwight. He is such a funny character. Yeah. He says, Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Those are words to live by, right? There. Great advice. <laughs> I just thought his character was such a funny... And Rain Wilson, the guy who played him, yeah. nailed it. Brilliant Absolutely actor. nailed it. That is your quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. Time now for some good news brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. I believe we've talked about this before, but the world's most famous non-tuplets have just turned one. Non tuplets, by the way. That's, that's that nine. Nine babies. Wow. Nine. Five girls, four boys, born a little over a year ago uh, in Mali, West Africa. M A L I, Mali. That's how you say that, right? Sure. Uh, the couple, their last name is Arby, A R B Y. Uh, the couple were flown to Morocco so she could receive specialized medical care ahead of the birth. Took the team of more than 30 doctors and paramedics to deliver these baby, babies safely. The nine babies, the non tuplets made history as the most babies delivered in a single birth to survive. All of them, by the way, were less than 2.5 pounds wow. when born prematurely. But the Miracle siblings are all healthy now and thriving under the continued medical care of, these, uh, of the, the doctors there. The proud papa says raising a literal baseball lineup plus a three-year-old sister is not easy. But they say it is worth it to see all the babies in perfect health. That's pretty great. That is really, really cool. I remember when we read this story in the very beginning. Do you remember there were people in the news that were going, I don't know if this is accurate, but this is what's being reported. Do you remember that? Like they kind of thought it was a lie? Yeah, there were a lot of people when this first came out, there were people who were reporting this. But every time before they would share the story, there was like a disclaimer where they're going, okay, this is what we're being told. But it's coming from West Africa. It's coming from sources, well, I think but we part don't of that know for is sure. Because there was just one that was a scam, so yeah. they were probably a little bit leery. Yeah, because like, yeah. I think they had all celebrated the other one. Like, hey, this right was that the Octa Mom? Was no, that no, the no. One? She no. That was somebody it was, different. It was somebody recently that okay. Well, the, turned anyway, out to be a scam. This is uh, from a year ago, and the nine babies are all healthy and perfect health, which is amazing. That is the good news. Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great Monday. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.